In today's video, we're checking out one of the most musical pedals of 2024. This is the Crazy Tube Circuits White Whale. This is made in Greece, and it gives you a real spring reverb on this side, and one of the most musical tremolo circuits you're going to hear over here. You're about to hear this in the context of a jam track, going through my Marshall DSL40CR back here, and then we'll get over to some isolated tones in just a bit. Before we get into it, a massive thanks to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. If you want to take a look at this, I'll link it down in the description box below. Here we go. Here's the Crazy Tube Circuits White Whale up close. This is an upgrade over the original, as great as the original is. It gave us two different types of tremolo and two different types of reverb. This now has three different types of reverb and three different types of trim, including tube, optical, and harmonic tremolo. And I'll give you a full rundown of the rest of the controls in the demo section of this video. But this has a real spring reverb built into it like the original, and it sounds unbelievable. And I'll show you some B-roll of that on screen so you can get a good sense of what kind of work goes into this particular effect. If you're a huge fan of the Fender reverb sound, you're going to get a kick out of this. We get top-mounted jacks. It runs on 9-volt DC. You can also control the reverb and tremolo separately with an expression pedal. So if you're running it into the tremolo, it controls the speed or the pulse of the tremolo. And over on the reverb, it controls the mix signal. So if you want more or less, you can basically use it to control this control right here just by using that expression pedal. We also get the option for a remote switch over here, which allows us to bypass the tremolo and reverb independently. While you can run this with a lot of different external pedals, it sounds great just as it is, and that's how I'm gonna showcase it in this video. So if you wanna check this out, I'll link it down below. I'll timestamp each section in the description so you can skip ahead back or forth if you so choose. Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. In today's video, I'm playing my little crow call Vino SD. It's loaded with a mini humbucker in the neck position and a Telecaster single coil bridge pickup. And this is the clean channel of my Marshall DSL 40CR with the reverb off. And the pedal is going through the effects loop of the amp, giving me sort of like the optimum amount of tone I can get out of this. And it sounds wild. So what I'm going to do to start with is show you the three different reverb settings. So the short, medium, and long. And we'll take a look at the difference with all the settings being the same. You can use this in all three positions with great success. But this is my clean tone to begin with on neck. So dead dry. So there you go, that's just the amp mic'd up with an Austrian Audio OD5, and this is the short. <laughs> I mean, that already sounds better than the onboard reverb on the amplifier. So let's go over to medium, which is a larger sort of spread of reverb. I used a bit of that on that intro track as well. I 
Now, yeah, it's beautiful, right? And over to long, which is the most prominent reverb. If you know my channel, you know how much I like reverb. It kind of inspires my playing. It sounds a whole lot nicer than this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, have a listen to that, right? And back on, just for kicks. Now, depending on your style of playing, you can pick the best one for the job, but yeah, the short might be enough reverb for most people, and you can, of course, tweak it, and I'll show you that right now. Up next, I'm gonna show you each of the four controls around the center toggle switch. So we're in the medium setting, and we're gonna adjust this one. So this is how it sounds on both pickups with everything set to 12 o'clock, basically. So the mixed control is how wet the signal is. If I turn it down this way, we're going to get less reverb out into the amp. And the opposite way, as you can probably hear it creep in there, it's gonna be way more prominent. Now, that sounds great, but it's up to you how much reverb you like. I'll just pop that back to 12 o'clock. We also get a tone control, which controls the overall mood of the reverb. So with it to the right, we're going to get a brighter reverb. With it to the left, we're getting a more rolled out one. Here we go. So that does influence the tonality overall, which is great. So I actually like it to the right a little bit more. So I'll leave it at about two o'clock. Now the volume control is literally how loud that side of the pedal is. So let's take a look. I'll go to neck pickup now. Now the beauty of having a volume control on a reverb pedal is, especially with the tremolo too, as you start combining them, you can set it up so either the effect can be louder with the pedal on at unity or below the actual volume, depending on how you want it mixed. So this is awesome. It means you're not going to get a volume drop if it didn't have a volume control, which is killer. So I really like that. It's that simple. It's just the volume control. And lastly, over to the dwell control here. Now, this does more than what most dwell controls do, which is the decay of the effect. It says it controls the strength of the signal that's going to the power amplifier that drives the spring reverb tank. It affects the drip, tonal quality, and the decay of the reverb effect. So not only does it feel like a mix control, but it's also taking care of the duration of it lingering around. So let's take a look at this. This is neck pickup. Sounds so good. <laughs> let's crank it up so it's gonna be more prominent. and less prominent. So you can still hear it in the background there, but it's definitely not as prominent. I mean, there you go, right? So you can set it up for the kind of music that you're playing. Let's take a look at the three different tremolo options on the pedal now, starting on tube. So I've left a little bit of reverb on. This is how that sounds. All right, tube, which sounds very 3D in the room. I 
mean, that sounds great. It's got that huge full range sound. Over to the optical trim. It's a bit more subtle, that one, but it still sounds very good. And over to the harmonic trim. <laughs> yeah. So you get three really great sounding trims, and you can either put this pre or post. Some sound better in the pre position of the reverb and some sound better in post. Over to the crunch channel on my amplifier now, I've just mixed up the reverb control. So we're on the medium and I've just changed up the tone of this particular reverb setting. I'm gonna take a look at some of the controls in a little bit more detail on the trim, but this is my starting tone. difference in the intensity of the tremolo depending if you've got it in pre or post i actually prefer it in post for this particular one but the optical tremolo might sound better in pre so let's give this a shot over to the harmonic one. So it sounds very compressed to my ear like that. Let's try post. As you saw at the end, I pushed in that two position switch. Now, this affects the sweep of the pulsating frequencies. So you can select between a wider range and more pronounced sweep from high to low frequencies in the hard position or to a smoother sweep and gentler throb. Ooh, soft. <laughs> so you can basically pick from one of two voicings for this particular effect. Let's take another listen. So I definitely prefer that in the soft position, which is kind of like the opposite to my ear. I would have thought that that one might have been the hard sounding one. But anyway, it is what it is. Still very usable. And lastly, over to the ultra gain channel on my Marshall. Let's have a listen to this. We're going to play some lead stuff. So this is my dry signal with the bridge pickup on. <laughs> I love the sound of this guitar and amp, man. It is special. Reverb on for sort of like a big 80s kind of reverb. Is gonna love that. <laughs> Let's wrap this video up. Just to let you know, I'm gonna put this in the best of 2024 without question. I absolutely love the tone of this, both on the reverb and tremolo, and I'll explain why. So, for those who already know the channel, I've had this Marshall DSL 40 back here for six years. I did a long term review video on it, 
and I still critiqued the lackluster reverb. This pedal on the short reverb setting sounds so much more full and more musical on my Marshall than the onboard reverb. It's not even close. So I might do a follow-up video about that actually because this just felt so much better to play. It sounds better, it feels better, and I can react to it better. It's a really great reverb. So I also loved how it sounded with the high gain tone at the end. I mean, that was just killer. If you like those big sort of 80s reverb sounds, you can get it out of this as well in the long setting. But then it brings us over to the Tremolo. Now, I'm a huge fan of Trem, but I've had a love-hate relationship with a lot of them because the Boss Tremolo feels like it's dropping your volume because the pulse kind of goes under your actual starting tone. This has a volume control, but the intensity control and all the other factors make this extremely usable. This actually gives you a more prominent Tremolo above and below your starting tone, so it has more of a 3D sound in the room. This thing is killer. If you're looking for a reverb and Tremolo, I have no complaints with this whatsoever. Now, quite some time ago, Crazy Tube Circuit sent me their original White Whale. So I think if you've already got this, you probably don't need the new one unless you like a few of the new features that they've added, but it's a very similar sounding pedal in most scenarios, but definitely not as many configurable controls on this one as the new one. But yeah, very similar, but uh, yeah, this definitely gives you, you know, everything from that classic Fender reverb and classic Fender tremolo sound all the way through to whatever you want to dial in. So. I love this. This is definitely going in the best of 2024. Let us know what you think. And a huge thanks to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. Catch you soon.